with this quick demonstration of using buttons and multiple pages in FormMaker. And we'll start off by adding uh, a new page. This is a new, f uh, new form, so we'll add a new page to the form. And we'll call this page, uh, let's say, holiday question. And we'll make it a grid to make it nice and easy for us. Uh, we could choose freestyle, which is the new type, where we can um, drag the size of each control and control the exact layout um, of the form page. So anyway, holiday questions to start with. And we'll start off by just dragging in a quick question. And we'll set the question to where did you go on holiday? And first answer we'll set to Spain. And the second one we'll set to France. And we'll add a couple more. Now to add a, another answer we just click the little plus button at the top and we'll add two more. And we're here we'll say what should we say now? Let's say Germany. And for the last one, well, in case they've been anywhere else, we'll just say other in there. And if we go like that, we'll see that we've got another. Well, that's not terribly helpful. Let's uh, have a little text field afterwards. And uh, we'll make it an optional text field like that. So they can then type in um, where they went if they didn't go to Spain, France or Germany. So there we are, and we'll add another page now, and we'll add, this time we'll, we'll, we'll add a page about sports, again we'll make it a grid, keep it simple, and drag on a question, and we'll say, what sports do you you play and what should we say football basketball and let's just have one more We'll call that one hockey. Right. So now then, that's our sports page, that's our holiday questions, and this is our start page. So as you can see, we've got three pages, and what we'll do is we'll put in a couple of buttons to link us to those pages. Now we could just do, use the swipe to move across, but what we'll do is we'll use buttons and the first one will say holiday and the second button will say sports and when we're happy that the users um, entered the, uh, the information what we can do is we can just say well that's the end of this little survey slightly the wrong place there so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to nudge it down you see it's in, in the wrong place I want to put it below the sports page so I'll just use the nudge down to move it to the bottom there we are and this will be the let's call it done now these buttons at the moment do absolutely nothing because we've got no action well actually they go that's not true they go to the next page that's the default action so all three of them, if you run this form, so let's run the form. So we click done just to save it. We go into this multi-page form. And if you click on holiday, oh, it goes to the holiday page. But also if we click on sports, it goes to the holiday page. And if we go to done, it also goes to the holiday page. That's because the default action on these buttons is just to go to the next page. Now for holiday, that's probably okay. For sports, we wanted to go to the sports page and for done, well, for done, we want it to submit the form and say we're finished. So let's do that one first, because that's the easiest. So we just change the action to submit. 
and that's it, all done. Now for sports, we want it to go to the sports page. So we need to some sort of marker to say it's a sports page we want to go to. Now you can see at the moment it's going to go to the next page, but we want it to go to a particular page. And the go to always works with a tag, and we need to tag the page that it's going to go to. So let's call the tag, let's call it tag sport. That's the tag. Now currently there isn't a page with, see we get this as well? We, we, there isn't a page with uh, tag sport, so this won't actually take us anywhere at all. So we need to go to the sports page and in the page settings we need to set the tag to tag sport. Okay, and then we go back to here. And we'll do the same for holiday, although holiday is the next page, so it would work anyway. We go tag holiday. This tag can be anything you like. It doesn't need to have the word tag in there. And then we go to the holiday page, page settings, tag holiday. Okay. Well, let's see see if that works. Run it. Holiday. Yeah, that goes to holiday. Sports. Way that goes to sports. That's great. So we can add. Uh, we can answer questions about sports now. Now you can see we can get back. We can do a sweep, or we can use the back button. But the back button sets sends us to the previous page, which is the holiday questions page. That's kind of uh, that's not so bad. We can get back to our initial page. But it'd be nice to go straight back from the sports page on using the but button straight back to the uh, the buttons page and we can do that um, there we go we go into design mode go over to the sports page and again in page settings and you can see the back they've got a back button um, selection here and it says prev which is the current selection goes to the previous page but we can also set it to first page so it automatically goes to the first page and you can also see you've got a next button as well. Well, for our sports page, it doesn't really make much sense to go to have a normal button there. That's the button that appears on the right hand side. It's not going to take us anywhere. So what we'll do is we'll set it to hidden. And then we'll go back to the holiday page, which is the previous page here. And we'll have a look at the settings there. And again, the back button. Well, the back button does prev, and that goes to the buttons page. Well, we'll set it to first because if we introduce a new page of questions before the holiday, then the preview wouldn't work uh, quite right. So we'll go to the first page again here, and we'll set the next button to hidden as well. So now, when I run this form, if we go to sports, you can see that there's no button up here. But if I press the back, it takes us straight back to the first page. Holiday. Again, here, that would normally have a right pointing button to take us to the next page, which is the sports page, but I've said it should be hidden, so it's not showing that, which is correct. That's what I want. And the back button, again, takes us here. And when I click done, it's going to submit the form. So if we can answer one of these questions, we'll say we went on to Spain. Click back, sports, hockey. Click back, done. And there it submitted that particular entry. So if we go to the results, we can see those results there. That's great. Now the only thing that uh, is not uh, is not quite as I would like it to be at the moment on this. As you can see, we've got three pages, but the user has to know to press the little back button. Now most users will know to press the back button. That's fine. But what I can do is I can put a little action at the bottom and I can say, make it very, very clear to the user that they can press this big fat button at the bottom and go to the first page. And that's how it'll look. Now, as you can see, we might want a bit more space here between this question and the back button. And the way we do that is to use the line break. Currently, there's no line break. That's the number of lines between the previous control and this control. So we set it to about three. Yeah, that's a bit better, isn't it? A bit more space there. And 
I'll do exactly the same thing on the sports page. So let's set this to back. We can call it whatever we want. The main thing is that the action is first. Line break three. Okay, so that's that one. That's that one. Well, you can see that because we've got four answers here, this button here is slightly lower than this button here. So let's just move that down one more and say it's four. I think that's a little bit better. Okay. Right. So now we've got that and that. We can then just double check by running the form. Holiday. Well, let's say we went to let's say we went to Italy. Takes us back there. Sports. Well, let's say we also play basketball. And somebody else comes along and they enter a survey. Oh, we didn't do the submit, did we? Ah. Yes, when we've finished it, when the user's finished it, they need to click done to submit it. Once they've submitted it, it'll have cleared the fields. So the next person then comes along and enters the survey. And they say they've done hockey. And then submit. Okay, so that's our survey. And as you can see, we got three survey results. And we can go and see what they were in detail by pressing the little edit button here. We do the same here or here. We could print them here. We could print them all. Um, or we can continue with the survey. So that's it. That's uh, buttons, uh, multiple pages with a form maker.